Alright then guys, my name's LT Zander and I've got a commentary for you. Basically in this commentary I am doing a demolition on launch. I will be showing you how effective playing the objective actually is. Most of you think maybe it's not too it's not too good, you get killed by a load of campers. Yeah that's right. Don't camp, you ruin the objective. Play the objective guys. I'm gonna show you that actually playing the objective can actually get you a good KD at the end of the round or well, end of the game. And that's pretty much it. So basically you start the game off, get one kill, get killed by some guys obviously camping. But yeah, um, I suppose you have to kind of camp when you're defending the objectives, but you know, you, you can still run around and stuff, you can still run to different positions, you don't have to stay at the same position over and over again. What I've found about this game compared to Modern Warfare 2 is, in Modern Warfare 2 you could probably stay at, a, um, at a camping spot and probably end up getting like a 20-30 kill streak. On this game, I don't think it's so possible. You have to keep on moving. If you want to get that kill shot, you've got to keep on moving to strategic positions. You can't just stay in one spot because you'll just get picked off by some other guy. I found that the guns on this game are more balanced compared to, let me say, Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2, you could run over an RPD or a UMP and get, say, a four man spray. On this, I find that you shoot two people and you're either out of ammo or the third guy's already got you. So, yeah. Um, that's, I'm just, I just kind of want you to just watch the gameplay a lot more than me commentating. I'm, pro I'm probably going to commentate more on the gameplay in this in this commentary than maybe other commentaries. Other commentaries I've probably told you, other stuff. I don't know really, but commentate more about me and stuff like that because I'm more about my channel. But in this commentary, I'm just going to kind of show you more about the game. So like in this game, I'm using the AK-47 Tiger camouflage just because it looks it's pretty sexual. I'm not going to lie, and um. Yeah, sorry for sound, I got a bit of a cold, got a bit of a blocked up nose, but like, ugh, I'm not feeling too good today, got work later on. Ugh, cannot be bothered. So yeah, um, see with this, like, what you do is you move around to different positions, like where I am now, I keep moving around, keep going to different positions where I could get, like, little kill streaks, and then hopefully that adds up to a bigger kill streak. See, so you, get, you get guys like that who are hiding around corners, head camp and stuff like that. It's, I find it easier to get them now as all you got to do is pop up, you shoot them in the face, they're dead really. It's like, I don't know, that the game just seems well balanced, a lot better compared to Modern Warfare 2. Apart from although, um, I'm going to tell you a bit about this, um, my montage is not going too well. First of all, we've got a few clips and then I lost them and I don't have a clue where they've gone. Uh, it was only like a few 360s and stuff like that, a few, a few like... A few little kill streaks with a sniper off, like one, two, three. But yeah, um, a few. What I'd say was quick scopes, maybe, maybe a few, few hard scopes, because you can't really quick scope properly on this game, can you? So, so yeah, um, yeah, that the montage. I've, I'm probably just gonna cancel it really, because I find that getting clips with a sniper off now is more luck. And as most of you know, the game, the matchmaking is done on your KD. So when you're doing when you go into a match, you've got a high KD like mine, which is like about two. You get put with general people who have roughly the same KD. Most of them are either try harding or well, like try harding and camping, or they're actually pretty good. So yeah, you're not really going to get beastly kill streaks. Like the most I think I've got with sniper off so far is like three quick scopes in a row, which doesn't, which makes an alright clip, I suppose. But getting them is quite rare, if you get what I mean. Like it's harder to get quick. Like obviously Modern Warfare 2, you can run around and get like five quick scopes in a row just because it's so easy to quick scope. This is kind of like by the time you zoomed in and you've just hit someone, they've already got you really. Yeah, so sniper rifles are more more better for long range. Although I found that some of these guns actually are pretty good at long range. Like even with the AK-47 now, I get a few hit markers and stuff, but it's pretty decent at long range. I'm quite surprised. Obviously, I, I am doing a bit of camping here right now, but I don't stay here for that long. Because I'd probably die, I'd probably get picked off. And probably, in, in fact, I probably do even get picked off. I don't even know. So you can tell that if I actually camp for a while, I'll start getting hit and stuff a lot, lot more. Because people in this game, just, they're just generally better, at it, I think. Like, I've seen a few Black Ops montages, like Quitscope montages, and it's just... Every every clip is pure luck. Like, I haven't seen one... I've seen like one guy doing a 360, but it's just kind of like... He's jumping around and no-scoped him, which is... No scopes of luck. Quick scoping on this, like I've seen a few quick scope clips, and um, people have been getting like like 
two quitscopes and then like a triple and we're like simply to be in quads and stuff but that's just pure luck like yeah it's a little bit of timing included in it waiting for them to line up or something but most of the time it's just luck like some of the clips I've seen it's like some guy just aims down on the corner and fires and somehow he gets a quad and it's like you can only see one person it's like what it's just I just don't get it sometimes it's like it's either I'm really unlucky or they're really lucky so yeah, it's, it's it's kind of annoying me really because there's me trying my hardest to try and get clips and stuff, and I just can't do it. And then like I've I've got a mate who's working on the montage at the moment. His kill death's like 0.2, and I'm like, what? His kill death on Modern Warfare 2 is like 1.4 or something like that, which is I suppose that's pretty good. But on this is 0.2, and he's got all these amazing clips. So I reckon it is fully done on your KD ratio because otherwise, like with me, it's so hard to get clips. If I like if I join one of his game sessions, I find the people that I play against a lot, lot easier to kill and stuff. Like, they're a lot more retarded. Yeah, that's the word. And um, if he joins my game session, he, he goes negative every time. So yeah, um, kind of really need to um, drop my KD, maybe. I don't know, I could try it, maybe a new account. Oh, I don't know though, Xbox. Uh, I have to pay for new live. Gutted. Yeah, by the way guys, I'm on Xbox now. Um... Don't start a little debate over this if you're watching this. Xbox, it's not better than PS3. PS3 is not better than Xbox. They're exactly the same. I, I hate people when they comment on my videos going, Oh, mate, you should move to Xbox. Xbox is amazing. It's like, PS3 sucks. Well, quite clearly it doesn't. It's exactly the same. Consoles, there's no difference between them. Still got my PS3. I'm waiting for Resistance 3 to come out, and that's when I'll be back on that. But yeah, the main reason why I moved to Xbox is because I've got lots and lots of friends in real life who play Xbox. Like... I think like everyone for some odd reason went over to Xbox when I was on PS3, so all my friends. So I was just left with a load of people like, I don't really know, I just met them online. They're cool guys, but I'd rather play with real life friends, so yeah. And um yeah, so if you haven't actually um Uh it doesn't matter. Um so yeah, if if you wanna get to know me or whatever, maybe send me a few messages on Xbox. My friends just isn't full yet, it's probably only about half, I don't really know, I don't normally accept random people, so if you're already like, if you're on my friends list back on PS3 and you want to add me, send me a friend request, I'll be happy to accept. So yeah guys, I think this game is coming to an end, let's let's have a look, let's have a look. Um, yeah, we've got about a minute and a half left I'd say. So yeah guys, honestly, um, play the objective, it, it's a lot more fun, you, you honestly don't do as bad, trust me, like sometimes you play objectives, you get really bad games where you might get killed by a load of campers, and I mean a lot of campers, but just just go for it mate, that's the end of the game, and I've ended up with good KD at the end of it, finishing with 33 to nil is that, I think, I think, and um, yeah, see, you get you get good games, trust me guys, just, just go for it, just go for it, so yeah, um, that was LT Zonda, um, basically, make sure you play the objective from now on because if you're a camper you're going to really piss me off you're going to piss a lot of players off so don't do it guys do not do it see you later